Hi everyone and welcome to this edition of the World Biogas Expo Summit and Awards Help Desk. So today I have my trusted colleague Ellis who's going to join me on um, explaining the platform to you. And um, as always, let us know if you have any specific questions in the Q&A box or the chat box on the right hand side. Um, I'll go through two specific things with you today. I'm going to show you how to assign your team members to meetings and also how to add your um, colleagues to your exhibitor booth. Um, but at first, uh, we're going to have Ellis just do a general overview of the platform and uh, focusing on engagement. So over to you, Ellis. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Uh, um, obviously, this is a really regarding the platform, but please ensure that you're not in a shed when you're at the expo, because it probably isn't the, the greatest look to have your dirty washing hanging up in front of uh, potential visitors. Um, obviously, I'm talking to myself. Uh, yeah, so I will attempt my screen with you and let's see how we get on. So, and share that so I can see myself doubly, which is lovely. So I'll go on to this. So this is, so we'll go to the home page. So this is the, the, the home page. Uh, this is obviously my profile. So um, this is what the uh, visitors to the expo will see when they first arrive onto the Swap Club platform. So this is um, sessions that I personally have saved to go and um, make sure I visit. So this is how the, the delegates will navigate their day or days at the expo. So as you can see, I will be attending Technology Innovations for On Farm AD on Tuesday, October 6th, and that will send me a reminder to do that. So that's kind of, um, please take a look at the different um, theatres and build your your um, your schedule around that. As you guys, um, I'm guessing more of the exhibitor uh, persuasion, <laughs> um, what we are trying to focus on a lot uh, to make sure that you're clear on is how to connect with delegates coming to the show, uh, which is obviously the most important thing for you, for you guys. So the way to do that, uh, you would look at the attendee list. And so the AI works out suggested uh, people that you should meet. So it's very easy. So uh, Diana Martinez, I don't know if you're present, Diana from um, CR Biogas. So you just click here and then you could write a little message, hello, um, be lovely to meet you, uh, send the connection request, or you can request a um, time slot here. Um, you can see, you can start from today, and this is obviously down to the show. So um, this is how you would connect with people if there's, if you wanted to connect with Diana, for example, then you would try and arrange a specific time for her. Uh, once you are friends with people, as it were, then I will show you how that happens. So um, go to home, uh, so and go to attendees. Then some of these, I should. Gerald, how do I see my friends? That uh, my connections. Sorry. So on the right is my connections, and we can see all of them. And let me see if I can give somebody a call who won't be too offended. Um, Cheryl, where are you? <laughs> um, and I can demonstrate quickly how this happens. Uh, let's give Maddie a call. She won't be too worried. So on the right hand side, it says talk with Maddie. And on the top right hand corner, there's a video and it won't be working at the moment because I'm speaking on, um, on the Remo platform, but that's how it works. And a notification will appear at the top of the swap card that somebody is trying to contact you. Please make sure that there is always somebody with the swap card platform open to see the notifications, to see any questions. It doesn't make any noise. It won't, you won't be able to see it if you have another page open, which is covering it up. So make sure that some one member of your team is always on the swap card platform and you'll be able to see who is visiting your stand. 
The other important thing about um, making friends, as it were, on the platform is that um, you get to download all the um, all the data, oh, sorry, all the contacts that you have made friends with. We don't, we are unable to send out an entire list of all delegates to anyone, um, to the exhibitors. It's We send you out a list of who you have been interacting with, who, have, who you have been swapping cards with, I believe. So um, then we'll be sending the exhibitors a breakdown of who's been interacting with your stand at the end of each day so you can um hopefully follow up with them the next day and just check everything's okay um hopefully you if you've got this far you should have already um kind of uh, furnished your stand with uh, pictures adverts so let's just have a quick look at exhibitors and hopefully but well, this is the national association which is um kitted out by maddie so as you can see we've put the logo we've done the background uh this is how you um can so a meeting re was requested by samuel a little bit of blurb on it so all this is uploadable by yourselves um and you should have already received instructions on how to do that um if you have specific questions on what to do about that now is your chance or feel free to send uh zane maddie myself joe anyone really from adba uh, an email and if we don't know before that on somebody it will help uh, or we'll be able to, to help with that so make sure that your your virtual booth is looking fine and dandy uh, connect with as many people as you possibly can it um, it pays dividends in the long run so, um, I'm just going to share my screen as well because I know we've had a few questions regarding um, how to assign different team members to your um, booth all exhibitors, uh, you'll be able to see your exhibitor booth on the bottom left hand corner here. And you can see that I'm a member of ADBA and the WBA booth. So you'll click into your booth and that will take you to your exhibitor center. So I'm at ADBA's exhibitor center now. And then um, you click in meetings and you can see all the meetings you have confirmed, pending, cancelled and declined for all your members of your booth. Or you can scroll down on this menu and uh, select a specific team member to see what meetings they have had. If you want to edit um, a meeting, click in a meeting. So I'm going to click on this one here with Katie and Maddie and you can reassign team members to your meeting. So you click into the meeting and then you can see the requester and the host. So if someone has requested a meeting with your team member, um, they'll become the host. And all you do is remove them from this meeting and then search for another team member. I'm just going to put me there and then save it. And that will reassign the meeting to that specific team member. And your team member will also receive a notification about that meeting. Um, so that was one of the questions that we've had recently. Um, the other one is adding colleagues to your booth. So let me go back to the home page. Let's go back into um, the exhibitor, exhibitor center. So I'm going to click on my um, exhibitor portal link. Again, we're back here. So what you need to do is on the far left hand side, you need to go right down to your team and click here where it has a little cog settings will. And then you can see all the team members assigned to your booth. Now on the far right hand corner, you'll see invite your colleagues and you can add your team members this way. But please note, you can only add them if they've actually registered to the expo. So um, you need to register at the Biogas Trade Show website. That's our registration system. Once your um, team members have registered, we will then send them a link um, from Swapcard. And the link comes from the email address hello at swapcard.com. So as soon as they receive that, they'll be able to log into the platform. They'll have their profile. And then as soon as that's ready, you can add them to your booth. So we've had a lot of queries about that just because, you know, the registration system. Um, and I just wanted to flag that with you. 
So awesome. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and Ellis, you can reappear and maybe we can um, answer some questions if there are any more. <laughs> I've answered all the questions in the general chat, Ellis, so that's fine. Um, I, I have a, a question um, It was from Jerome earlier. Apologies, Jerome, for, for not replying to that. Um, are the the times the local times not uk times is that correct so jerome specifically um his talk is at one but it's coming up on his um swap card at two so that's just because of the time zone yeah, yeah depending on what country you're in the website the platform uh reassigns the time to your own time zone um so yeah that's that's why you can see that <laughs> Cool. Yeah. But just please remember to, um, if you're inviting people to the expo, please um, get them to register first and then we will send them the login details to the event. Um, and just to reiterate, the live event, um, so the virtual conference sessions are happening next week from uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We've got the ADM Biogas Industry Awards happening at three o'clock to 4.30 on Thursday the 8th. Um, so you can register for that session um, so you get a notification um, for that. Um, I think, yeah, that's everything that I wanted to say. Um, does anyone have any other questions? Actually, so on the live event days, um, a representative from Swap Card will have their own exhibitor booth. So if you have any like technical questions, then please go to the Swap Card exhibitor booth. Um, that will only appear during the live event hours, so on the Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So if you have any like immediate technical questions, go there because they'll be able to um, help you out um, as fast as possible. Because as you appreciate, um, the events team is quite small here and I endeavour to reply to everyone as soon as I can. But we've got, you know, more than 2000 attendees um, in the platform at the moment and, you know, over like 60 exhibitors. So I might be a little bit slow to replying. So if you have a technical issue, please go to the swap card exhibitor booth on the live event days and they'll be able to help you out. And it will probably be the, the fastest route to solving your problem. Tell you about the event. Um, yeah, please just uh, start connecting with people and, and calling people through the platform. It's yours um, for you know the foreseeable future as well. We're gonna have it open after the event. So like, you know, I've been working for the World Biogas Expo for a few years now. And what's really neat about this event is the fact that, you know, the physical expo, expo lasts like two days. So that's when you have to come in all your networking. And, but this platform is going to be open to you for, you know, a while after the event as well. So you can keep on, you know, making those connections, getting those leads, like, you know, really uh, utilising the event. So I think that's really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> um, and also important, I'm on a rant now, um, please remember to book in your um, conference sessions because you will get reminders when they're about to start. And also it just gives us an indication of who is going to attend those conference sessions. And it kind of helps us out in seeing like which is going to be the most popular session. And it helps us for future events because then we can tailor the conference agendas around what you found the most useful um sessions to attend so that's that's important um what else um yeah always let us know your feedback as well um you know it's been a steep learning curve for everyone involved you know pivoting to virtual events um and i'm always on the other end of the direct messaging service on swap cards so if you have a question just ping me an email again i'll try and get back to you asap but yeah it's, it's a very busy time at the moment so that's why we've scheduled in these help desk sessions so we can kind of answer all your questions at once um how do we know how many attendees we have excluding exhibitors and their staff just trying to gauge OK, so um, I checked with marketing um, before this meeting. We've got 2,600 in total and that's growing. Um, we So we've been looking at trends for online events at the moment because obviously the registration curve is different at physical events to online events. And the general trend is that you get 50 percent of registrations a week before. So it's really hard to predict. But so far, so far we're on 2,600, um, which is great. Um, but yeah, oh, no, can... quite a lot in the last couple of days, actually. 
yeah, it's going up pretty fast. And again, that kind of um, reiterates that there is a trend in online events of having 50% of registrations in the last week um, before the event. So, yeah. No, um, 2,600 in, is, is everyone. I can't give you the specific breakdown at the moment because I don't have that platform in front of me right now. But um, yeah, I can certainly let you know. Um, cool. Um, but yeah, the most important thing is obviously you getting the leads and the, the communication um, that you deserve. So please do utilize the platform and chat to people. Also, yeah, we, as much as possible between now and then. Yeah. Um, we've been busy scheduling in um, exhibitor breakout sessions as well, and they're going to be on Remo because, Hi, you know, <laughs> oh, thanks, John. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not trying to interrupt you. No, it's all right. Have a great day, John. Um, <laughs> um, whilst I'm on my rant, because I don't really um, come onto screen too often. Um, we much, be, what was that, Alice? So what was that? Um, we've been busy uh, scheduling exhibitor breakout sessions, and they're also going to be on Remo. So um, to network with people, please do attend those exhibitor breakout sessions because Remo is a really cool platform. You, you've seen the roundtables at the beginning where you can just, you know, drop by to tables and actually speak to people face to face. So we're kind of merging the best of both worlds and um, best of both platforms. So Remo for the roundtable networking and swap card for like the, you know, the engagement and the conference sessions and the, and the exhibition part of the event. So... Sorry, I've droned on a lot, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm on this now. So let's just check if there's anyone else who has any burning questions. No. Ellis, do you have any questions? Have you been have you been asked a specific question over and over again? Maybe we can kind of solve that for someone. Yeah, it, it it was um that you've already covered it to be fair. Um how to upload staff members, because I, I think they're Either there's mm. a bit of a glitch somewhere or there's a button that people don't know about. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah that, that, that was it, really. And the rest, we kind of are more individual ones. And, yeah, so, as Cheryl said, we're happy to help. So just give us a I think email. Anyone's fine. I think the problem there with registering your team members to your exhibitor booth is the fact that they haven't registered for the expo. It's really important that they register via right. the bio trade show website because that's our registration portal. And then we uh, okay. in spot card and send them their link to access the event and the platform. So if they haven't done that, then obviously you're not going to be able to assign them to a booth. But saying that, if you, if they have registered and they have been sent their swap card login, please check your junk email as well. And you're still having trouble, please flag it with us because obviously we want to get to the bottom of that for you. Um, cool. All right. Well, I think we can end it here and we Absolutely. can just back to the tables. Um, again, we're here to make your event like as easy and streamlined as possible and to give you the, mo the most value. So, you know, just come and talk to us and I'll, I'll be happy to help <laughs> after like copious amounts of coffee. Um, cool. <laughs> Hang on. Awesome. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Bye. Bye.